opportunity. You have an opportunity of a lifetime. When you understand you have an opportunity, you just you play a little different. When I dropped out of high school and I started going to this church and let me speak, I picked up the mic. I was 16 years old, I picked up the mic. I'm not gonna say it was the best speech I ever did, but when I picked up that mic and got off that stage, I was like, yep, I can do it. So hear what I'm saying, opportunity. I got an opportunity, you got an opportunity. So here's the deal, when you have an opportunity, why would you give 80%? Why would you give 80%, 70%? Why wouldn't you always give 120%? It's sports, it's basketball. Why wouldn't you give 120%? You can't dictate if the ball gonna always go in. You can't dictate what kind of game you're gonna have. You can't dictate how your body is gonna respond to moving around. But you can dictate your what? You can dictate your good. You can dictate your, you can always give 120% effort. And every day I want you to wake up and not just go, I'm sweet like that. I want you to go, I'm not just going with skills. There's a one type of dude who feel like because he's gifted that it's just an automatic role for him. And let me tell y'all something. You are gifted, but you better humble yourself. You gotta understand that pride come before fall. You may get it, but right now what? Oh, I can't hear y'all. You may get it, but right now what? You don't have it. That's not what gets you in the league. Not with what you were born with. You got skill and you got will. You got skill and you got will. Two total different things. You were born with certain things, but to get to the next level, and not just get to the next level, to stay at the next level, you gotta have will. So when you play, you have to compete. I'm a high school dropout. My daddy wasn't in my life. But I found out I had a gift, then I found out your gift shall make room for you. And I'm like, you mean to tell me if I perfect this, I can eat and my kids can eat and my kids' kids can eat? From today on, you play whatever your best game is, you play that level every single time. So some of you like me, I ain't had my daddy. Right, I'm from Chicago, South Side. I had my father in my life. I don't know who my grandfather is. My mom got pregnant with me at 17 years old. I didn't have the people in my life that were supposed to be in my life, so I made some stupid decisions, dropped out of high school, homeless, living in abandoned buildings, eating out of trash can. I promise you, if a speaker came, I was like, some of y'all weren't saying nothing, but guess what happened? Guess what happened? Yep, one day I got a why. I got married, I had a son, and everything changed for me. That's why I'm asking you, who do you love? So when people ask me, E.T., why you get up at 3 o'clock in the morning? Why you putting videos up every day at 3 o'clock in the morning on Instagram? Number one, because I want to be the best that ever done it. Like, I honor my craft. I want Dr. Martin Luther King to look at me and go, that's it, kid. I want Malcolm X to look at me and go, that's it, kid. Just like you got the Hall of Fame in basketball, I want to be the Hall of Fame in speaking. I want all the greats to look at me and go, that's it right there. Number one, I'm competing against everybody else in the world. I'm not mad at them, I'm not against them, but when you number one, you don't have to negotiate with your check. I remember when I was like number 25 or something, they would be like, okay, you got to fly here, you got to fly. Now I tell people how I fly. I tell people where I stay, where I don't stay. So number one in the world, what happened? One day I woke up and was like, I got to do this for my wife. Like, I don't know what happened, but she called me like, yo, E, I'm lost. I'm like, what you mean we lost? We live in Lansing, you can't be lost. She's like, I'm lost, I got a brain fart. Took her to the hospital, found out she had MS. The doctor was like, look, this is the one thing we could tell you. Stress caused MS. I told my girl, you will never work again. My son, I didn't go to college. When you finish high school and go to Michigan State, I'm cashing you out. I found out I had a gift. I started thinking about what my mom need, what my sisters need, what my, and a lot of y'all, you selfish, flat out. How many of you in this room? Some of y'all, you good. 
You don't make it to the league, you tight work. That ain't all, y'all. How many of y'all, your mama really need me? You to go to the league, let me see your hand. Hands down, I'm gonna say it again. How many of y'all need to move your mama out that neighborhood and y'all need to put your mama in another neighborhood and the league is how you gonna get there, let me see your hand. So what I'm trying to tell you is, while you playing, it might be some cats in the league who really are going or who do come from privilege and you like thinking you them. I promise you, I ain't stupid. I ain't Tony Robbins. I don't come from where he come from. I don't come from where Kiyosaki come from. I don't come from where Zig came from. My mama barely finished Dunbar. I'm from the south side of Chicago. I ain't, I ain't had no safety net. You acting like if you don't make it to the NBA, you got like some second opportunity that's gonna pay you a hundred mil. How many of y'all in the room right now, your mama got a safety net? So, other than you making it to the league, you got another way where you about to make a hundred mil. Let, let me see your hand real quick. For real, cause that's what you acting like. Now, now if your parents got that, hey, you, you good. But some of you, your mama ain't got that. So when you hoop from now on, I don't want you to see basketball. I want you to see your mama getting out the hood. So every time you get your handle straight, your mama is that closer to doing what? Every time you get your character straight, you heard what the man said. He said if they got to choose between the two of y'all, they not choosing the snotty nose dude who think he everything, who don't speak to people. You know when they all man, they always pick me, I always ask, why y'all pick me and not the other speaker? They say, because you easiest to work with. Because when you come, you don't talk down to nobody. You clean up behind yourself. He just said, I'm a grown man. They say you clean up behind yourself. You, you don't cause problems, E. Number one, this is not about basketball, this is about who? Yourself and then who? Your family. So the days you don't feel like working out, it's easy. How do you get motivated? How you get pumped up? You think about mama and that feeling on draft day. And which, more, which one is more important? You get some rest or mama coming to the draft? I'm just being real. Which one is more important? So somebody locking you down, you trying to score, they locking you down. Like in your mind, you got to go, uh-oh, this ain't just about me getting locked down. This is about mama not having what? This mama not having what? Food. <laughs> So at halftime, when coach go back over the stuff, when you come out, what you gotta do? You gotta kill. I just told y'all, this is how my man eats. This is how my grandkids gonna eat. He doing his own personal thing. This is how we eat. This ain't no motivational presentation. This is how my mama eat right now. This is how my wife never have to go to work again. This is how we live on the West Coast and on the East Coast. And I ain't no baller. And I ain't making millions of dollars. But my gift is making room for me. Every time I get on 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm killing them. Tony Robinson can't keep up. He's a phenomenal speaker, but he ain't from the shy. He can't keep up. My motor. I'm killing them.